This Sunday right here on CBS 8, you can check out an original Christmas movie called Fit for Christmas. The film stars actress and co-host of the talk, Amanda Klutz, who came up with the concept for this movie. I had a chance to sit down with Amanda to find out more about it, plus how she's making it through the holidays after losing her husband a few years ago to COVID. This brand new movie is called Fit for Christmas. Star Amanda Klutz is here. Amanda, I understand that you came up with the concept for this film in a dream. The movie felt like doing a dream. It was actually July of 2020. Um, I had lost my late husband, Nick, about two weeks prior, and I was up in the middle of the night and I couldn't sleep, of course. And, you know, if you remember, they were playing Christmas movies in July to try to lift people's spirits and make people happy in the height of the pandemic. Um, and I think of this movie idea. I think about how I've never seen a Christmas movie about a fitness instructor. And I was like, we're doing this. I gotta, I gotta make this happen. So I thought of the whole concept in bed that night. And then two years later, I'm on the set filming the movie. Crazy. Good morning. Three extra shots of espresso in my gingerbread latte, please. Also a blueberry scone. So you are a fitness instructor in real life. You also play one in this film. So how do you stay balanced during the holidays when there are just so many sweets and treats in front of us all the time? First is to make fitness a part of your daily routine, like brushing your teeth or taking a shower. Just make it a part of your day. I jump rope for 10 minutes every single day just so that it's always a part of my day. And if I do more, I do more. But if that's all that I get in, I've gotten in that 10 minutes. And then the second thing is, is that when you're tempted with a tray of sweets, Try to think about what you know, already know what the taste is. You know what I mean? Like, so that you don't go for the second or the third. You can look at something and go, I know how that cookie's gonna taste. I know how that brownie's gonna taste. And that way you can kind of help to decipher like what you really want to put into your mouth. The holidays can be a time of cheer and family and excitement, but for people that might be going through loss or through struggle, this can be a really hard time of year when everybody else seems to have it all together, but inside you might feel like you're crumbling. What advice can you share with some of our viewers who might be in that stage? Yes, honestly, I mean, I will tell you that the last two holiday seasons for me have been very, very hard. It's just, you know, that nothing feels the same and you feel like you don't have your entire family you know, family um, around you, the support, and, and you almost kind of want to sit out of things because you feel so alone. Um, I would say that what I do is I go against that grain and I really just force myself to be around people and reach out to people to, you know, go to other people's homes, to have a dinner with a friend because otherwise, you know, the loneliness really, really sets in. So, it's hard. Um, everybody has a different way to do it. Grief is not easy. I'm still battling it every single day and the holidays don't make it much easier. So, you know, be around people, turn on movies like this, like Fit for Christmas that make you feel good, that are positive, that the whole family can sit together and watch and just, you know, bring some smiles to your faces. She stays very positive despite all that she's been through. Very intent on helping their kid through this yeah. and, and to make things as as loving and as warm as they can possibly be in a time where there's just a, a big hole in her life and, and her child's life. Yeah. They have each other and uh, she's got enough love for both of them. I so think. when we're doing these interviews, you sit in this virtual they call it a junket room and we're, mm -hmm. we're waiting for the stations in front of us to do their interviews and then in between her son wake, woke up from his morning at slumber and sat on her lap for a little while and I thought gosh she doesn't have anybody else that can yeah. come and like take him off her hands for a few minutes while she finishes up these interviews and I just that my heart went out to her you know this is her life, That's Make, her life. making the best of it and I'm yeah. sure a lot of people will want to watch that L looks yeah. good on its own but a lot of people want to support her to be sure it's a definitely a good movie to watch if you want to make sure that you're not going to pick up that extra Christmas treat because she looks really good in it it's about <laughs> tell a you that right fitness now. instructor folks <laughs> yes all right so you can check out fit for Christmas this Sunday right here on CBS 8 at 8 p.m. Uh,